fish on. That's a nice one, bro. It's coming around under the boat. We got to get these buoys away from the fucking anchor line. He's going underneath the boat. It's right there. He's watch under out, the boat right here. Line. What happened? He's going to break it off. Do not break it off. Where is the shark? Take me right by it. We need to know where that shark is. Well, we thought we were going to be heading out, but there's three tags left. The team seems to be humming. The sharks are here. So we're going to stick it out for a little bit, see if we can't tag out. It would be a huge bonus, and fingers crossed, that we can find a female. That would be an incredible way to cap off this trip. So we got to stick it out, see what happens. We are setting out to do something that no one has ever done. We have to capture and lift mature white sharks out of the water, hopefully giant females, to unlock the mysteries of their two-year migrations. Let's freshen up the uh, bait. Let's get that big tuna. Let's get that whole tuna and throw it on here right now. We have very little bait. They only need to catch three more sharks. Where are we going to catch more bait? Well, we're just gonna have to pile up the tuna and stuff. The permitting around trips like these are complex, and sometimes you can do certain things and can't do other things, and we're not really allowed to go fish here for big baits for these sharks, which is really limiting us. So this is what we got left. I don't need extra bait, I need three bites. I mean, I just wanna put a bunch of meat down. Kinda of stack up the old ones with the new. I think there's a couple things that happen when you're talking about the baits here for these animals. You got two issues, like what do they like to eat more? And also like, what can you disguise more? What can you kind of try to eliminate all this metal hook for them to pick up in their sensors and even in their eyes? And so, you know, these smaller fish are fine, but you kind of string them on the hook and then it gets sloppy and then maybe it doesn't roll into the corner of their mouth properly. But if you can get big tunas, bigger t pieces of tuna, and kind of put the hook in there properly, you know the hook can swivel and rotate better. It really was clear that that became the bait of preference. And I want to have bait for the rest of our trip. Yeah, but after we catch three more, we don't need bait, right? We got six baits and need three fish. That ain't enough. Because he's so smart, I think he's trying to be helpful, but he's really creating a lot of confusion. Chris and I butt head sometimes, and I don't think that's a bad thing, you know? I think that the, the angle he comes from is very different than the angle that I come from. Come on, take the whole thing, buddy, the whole thing. Yeah, here we go, there we are. Here we go! Now he's going. Okay, let it go, let it go, don't hold it. Let it go, let it go, let it go. We want him to keep going that way. Get ready to throw your buoys. That throw looks it. good, that looks good. Watch your feet. Yeah, baby. Like that one. Fish on. That's a nice one, bro. Yeah. Hey, let's go, let's go. You gotta keep the things coming around under the boat. It's coming around under the boat. We gotta get these buoys away from the fucking anchor line. He's going underneath the boat. There are so many things that are on the bottom of a ship like this. You mean not, not only just your rudders and your props, but there's all sorts of different things attached to the bottom of the ship, sensors and anti-fouling things. There's a lot to catch a line on. He's watch out, watch right out for this here. line. What happened? He's gonna break it off. Take me to, oh, uh, you know what we're gonna have to do? Might have to get that buoy. Try to take, oh boy, he's on the wrong spot for us. Yeah, that float's hanging up on the hull. Try to get them all between the, the bow and the, and the anchor rope. Can run it, run me right to the bow and the anchor. Take me right by it. One boy is right. I got there. it. We see it. You're gonna have to hold on tight after this, Brett. Now you're gonna have to grab them again, and we're gonna. Yep, I know. There's the buoy. Right there, it's right there. Life at sea is not the same as life on land. When you're on a ship and you need to tell somebody to move, they need to move, not ask why. I don't want someone to get hurt. Oh, 
Hold the gap. What do we want to do? Where do we want to go? Let's run up to the bow. We got to get that, that, that other set of buoys. We, we could have controlled the shark from there. We need to know where that shark is. Brett, I'm going to pull this buoy off if I can. OK, get the gaps. They're right there. OK, the line's under. Just go swing around the side. And we might be so able to drag it. You want to go under the anchor, right? Yeah. I think the shark came off. They broke in. I think it came off. He sheared it off, I'm pretty sure, on the edge of the boat. There's a float if you need well, it. Well, maybe right, not. Right. that way. Maybe not. Drop the gas. Set it down. Are we clear of the anchor rope? Are we clear? I, yes, you are now. OK, let it looser. Let it looser. Do not break it off. Where is the shark? OK, we have to get this other buoy now. When all the buoys pop up, it's a bummer. They shouldn't be coming up that fast, you know? So you know that something's failed. And then, then you got to go into a little investigation, looking at your line, looking at your hook, looking at your bait, see, like, well, why did that happen? So you can try to avoid it in the future. Another one. Here comes the blue, blue one. That's not a good sign. Going to the last one. It's coming up as it must be. We must have lost him. Must have come off. We must have lost the shark. That was like worst case scenario right there. Came up under the boat, wrapped around the anchor. I thought we had a clear. I thought we were good right when it came off. I thought we were just good. But I'll be interested to see what this looks like. Is there a hook down there? It is like it. Oh my God. Oh my God. It broke the hook. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a big mean one. Holy cow.